Good morning everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So it is early morning. It's about 5.30 right now. We just had our coffee break and we're getting ready to let the girls in. But before we let them in, I do need to go around with the second crop bale. Um, because we do like to go around with the A bale first before they come in just so they take a stall really well. I have mentioned this all before. If you guys notice, I am wearing a coat because it's about 30 degrees here right now. It's very chilly. We actually had a little bit of a frost this morning. Um, so, very cold, but it's supposed to warm up to be about 60 today. I don't think it's going to be quite 60, but it's going to be pretty close. Hopefully there won't be any wind because it's been really windy lately, which has been really knocking down the temperatures. So far today is pretty calm. We cleaned up basically all the sticks and trees that fell in the pasture yesterday. Sorry for the vehicles that go by all the time here in the morning. So yeah, we've got that all ready to go. We just need to go around and make sure that some of the insulators are put back on and that the electric fence is tight and the barbed wire fence is tight and just make sure everything's up and good to go because the girls should be going out in two weeks or maybe a little more than two weeks depending on if we get any rain because we haven't gotten any rain in a while and believe it or not it's getting a little bit dry. We could use a little bit of rain to give that grass an extra boost to get it up where it needs to be. But anyway, I'm going to go around with the second crop bale and then we'll have probably a little bit more coffee. Then we'll let the girls in. You can see they're waiting patiently at the gate. Um, like I said in the last video, we do not bed them in the morning because they usually are in and out and they don't make much of a mess. So we also don't run the cleaner. We run that just about every other day when the girls are going in and out. So let's go around with this. So I just finished going around with that bale. I'm in the milk room right now, obviously. Um, Brent is out letting the girls in. I did want to show you guys how excited they get when they come in. Um, I was just in here warming up some milk. So I've got um, some regular milk here. And then I have some colostrum in this bottle right here. Um, because that cow that I told you about a few videos back, she finally did calve. When we're finished letting the cows in, I have to show you guys her because she's just adorable. Um... So Brent is letting them in right now. Also something that Brent did that I wanted to show you guys. He replaced the middle lights with these um, different kind of whiter, less soft lights. And it's so much easier to see with these lights. I'll have to show you guys when it's dark sometime. Here they come. First one down here is going to be Ellie. Nope, everybody's cutting off for the earliest stalls. <laughs> nope, nobody's gonna make it down here. All right, time to carry machines. This right here is the new calf that I was telling you guys about. Um, she looks exactly like a Normandy. Um, less beefy, more dairy looking in the body, but her coloring and her face looks exactly like a Normandy. She ate off her mother last night, so she probably is gonna be a little bit difficult to feed, but um, we're gonna feed her real quick, and then we'll feed Jackie and Summer here, who you can see are extremely excited to get their food this morning. And probably angry because I'm taking so long. Um, we did open this door for them yesterday because it was really warm yesterday. Having that door open just lets a lot of fresh air in. Unfortunately, last night it was pretty cold. We'll feed this little munchkin real quick and then we'll get looking. We're gonna 
be She ate really good. You can see she's really filled out for a calf that was born last night. Um, but she looks really great. Now I gotta feed these two fucking frack over here. Um, because they're very excited, so I'll go grab theirs real quick. Typically Brent does help me feed them, but he's going to get a rat bale to put outside right now. So I told him I could do it by myself. Before I feed those other two, I'm gonna help Brent put that bale up rack. I gotta open the gate for him. Move a couple things that I left in the way. Bail, guys. It's gonna be a gorgeous day. Sorry for my voice, you guys. I think I might have allergies because for some reason, every morning I'm just really stuffed up and it kind of goes away as the day goes on. Um, but it's pretty bad in the morning. So <clears throat> we cleaned out the free stall two days ago. Um, we do have to hoe out the stalls again today because you can see they crap on the edge of the stalls. So we do have to hoe those out, but they use them a lot. They absolutely love laying the stalls. Now you come in here and pretty much every stall is filled, um, but you can see how much they use it because in two days they've gotten it pretty dirty, so we have to clean it out. It's out about every three days now, which is hard because Brent can't push it out anymore because you can see we can't, we just don't have enough room to do that anymore. And also the skid steer needs hydraulic oil, that's why it's screeching. Hey, what are you doing? Why are you chewing on the cart? calves are fed, I'm warming up the milk for the other calves right now. Done pretty much all the chores this morning, now all that's left to do is feed the girls and then let them out, clean up the barn, and then we can start working on some other things. I know that, like I said before, we do have pasture fence to work on today, but I'm sure there are a few other things Brent wants to work on. I just don't know what they are right now, so I'll let you guys know when I know. Here is mom that just came last night. Um, you can see she has a beautiful udder. It's a little swollen right now because she just calved, but um, yeah, so really nice cow. That's why we were really excited to raise her calf, and she's also a sweetheart. Um, just a really, really all-around great cow, so I'm pretty sure she's an Asher Holstein cross, which in my opinion is a really good cow. We've had really good luck with Asher Holstein crosses. We haven't had so much luck with the complete Ashers. Um, they're not extremely hardy, sometimes even less hardy than a pure Holstein, um, but when you cross them, seems to make a really great cow. We have several of them now and we've had a lot of them over the years and they just make good cows, good milkers and um, kind of evens out their disposition which is weird because Ashers usually have an attitude and Holsteins usually have an attitude but when you mix them they usually end up being a pretty sweet cow so that's a little strange. Anyway, I'll get back to you guys when we're done milking and we get into the rest of our day. Hey, honey. Hey, honey. It's okay. 
What is the problem, hon? Apparently she's scared of people. Um, anyway, so we just got the girls let out. We bedded the barn and we actually did run the cleaner. Brent said he did want to run the cleaners today. So the barn's all clean and ready for the girls to come in, except I do have to sweep out this crap. Um, the bale we fed two days ago was really bad for some strange reason. They didn't end up eating much of it, so we ended up pushing it all the way down. And the next one we fed came from the same spot and had no bad stuff in it, so I'm not really sure what happened there. So Brent went out to the shop and he's gonna grab the sledgehammer, um, some fencing pliers, some extra fencing, some insulators, just everything we'll need to go down and check some of the fence. We're planning on doing that whole entire side, seeing what we can get done. The wind has come up. Um, I'm just going to shut off this door because we do not want to get electrocuted, so. Um. There, now we won't get electrocuted when we try to work on that. So yeah, we're going to see how far we can get, see how good the grass is growing out there. And she really just doesn't like people. Hopefully she gets over that. So after we're done fencing, we are going to have to go get a load of sawdust because we are out of sawdust. And since we want to work on equipment the rest of this week, um, we kind of have to go get it today. So yeah, let's go work on that fence. So how do you want me to carry some of these staples? Back yeah. How many do you have? Two. Just two? Yeah. Of the regular ones? Yeah. So. Well, I guess we should have bought another bag. Yeah. I know there's at least two. Hopefully those are the only two. Yeah. I get the sledgehammer. Hammer staples insulators. Yep. Okay. Ready to go. Are we walking? Yeah. This should go well. Wow, that's pretty tight anyway. Oh Lord. Oh. I made it. I've got you to participate by holding the camera. This is my first check. <laughs> That's a Widowmaker. That's the Woody Woodpecker tree. Are you, uh, it's a woodpecker? Yeah, woodpecker. it's the king of the wood that does that. Wow. Pil pileated woodpecker. I thought it was pileated. Oh, what? Whatever. <laughs> the king of the woods, that's what they call them. You know, I saw some of those porcelain inflators somewhere and they were like $2 a piece. Mm. Can you imagine? You can tell we didn't come back and redo this. What? Uh, because it looks terrible. There's a ratchet strap holding that one together. <clears throat> All the stuff over by the building is still up and tight. Yeah, so. it it's you still... Have the hammer. What? You got the hammer? Yeah, why? You have the hammer? Yeah, it's in my hand. Oh, I must have left the sledgehammer. Oh, you mean the sledgehammer? Well, no, I actually meant the hammer. That looks good. Yeah, this is still tight. What's this thing out here, anyway? Some sort of old conveyor thing? What's that? What's this thing out here? Like some sort of potato thing or something? You hand crank potatoes up into the truck or whatever. I don't know. Huh. Why you got that? It's just, it was up over the dad's ride for years and years and years. Huh. <laughs> Said that water's pretty. I bet it's pretty cold though. <gasps> yep, it is. Oh, apparently, there's holes in my boots. Ooh, that's cold. Good 
Did you know this is what the inside of a sledgehammer looks like? That is weird. It's just like a bunch of rods hooked together. I said, you can tell they like to hang out underneath yeah. this tree. And it's like, boy, that's a big tree. Wow. Yeah. All right, so we just got back from getting sawdust. It's about two o'clock. It took them a long time to load us, a lot longer than we thought it was going to. So we're probably not gonna be working on anything else today, but thank goodness we did at least get some of the pasture done today. Um, so it'll be ready for the girls to go out, hopefully the end of this month, but maybe the start of June, because that is um, when we let them out last year. I just lost my glasses in the gutter. Um, so I just came in and checked on the calves really quick, and now I'm going to be heading home, relaxing for a minute, and then coming right back here to milk the girls. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. Hit that notification bell so you know when any new videos are being posted. Keep it real, keep farming, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.